stakeholders. Now this is a nice um, diagram looking at an airport and the different internal and external stakeholders who are influenced by the business and also who can influence the business. So we're going to look at stakeholders for different businesses and you need to understand the importance of stakeholders in influencing the objectives of a small business. So make sure you've looked at the objectives um, presentation as well because that's important that links to this one so key terms here stakeholders are any individuals or groups that have an interest in the business now they have an interest for two reasons because they are affected by the business's activities and the business's decisions or their objectives um, but also these stakeholders can actually affect the business's activities and their objectives and how successful they are so this is a nice um, diagram splitting up internal and external. Most times when students look at this they ask me why shareholders are on this side and employee uh, sorry owners are on this side um, so because they point out well you know shareholders are owners of the business LTDs and PLCs that is and the reason is um, because owners um, suggest more uh, a sole trader or a partnership or even um, an LTD where one of the owners is actually a director in the business and they're, they're running it. So owners suggest that they're there, they're doing the day-to-day -day running of the business. Whereas shareholders, we know with PLCs there's hundreds of shareholders and they are not involved in the running of the business. They, they're just going to vote on really important decisions. So that's why we consider them external to the business actually, even though they own a part of it. Um, so if we're looking at owners and I'm thinking more here about um, sole traders, partnerships, possibly LTDs, private limited companies, they're influenced by the objectives of the business because it determines the level of reward that they get and presumably it's about um, profit. Um, it might be about other things as well like work satisfaction but the success of the business is going to influence them directly because it's the money that they're getting from it, the profit, um, and they directly influence the business because they're going to decide upon the key objectives and, and what the business is going to be aiming for and the products that they're going to sell and where they're going to sell them and how they're going to do it. So the owners have a, a really large influence on the business. The share Shareholders, if, the, if it is a company, a public limited company in particular, um, they're influenced by the objectives of the firm because the, the business determines the amount of profit that is going to be made, the reward, and then this is distributed to the shareholders in terms of dividends. So that's just a way, uh, that's just what we call the profit that's distributed to shareholders. It has its own special word. Um, so the reward that they receive will be determined by the business. That's how they're affected. But they can also vote on really important decisions such as who the um, key um, operating officers or chief executive officer or chief financial officers are not all of the managers but just those ones really high up at the top the managing directors and they can kind of oust them if they don't think they're doing a, a very good job um, you'd have to have a lot of voting rights to be quite significant though so you, you need um, uh, a lot of shares to have a lot of voting rights. One share equals one vote. Um, but they can also um, vote on other important decisions, such as you know whether they should buy another business um, and and those types of things. But it's going to be really high level decisions. It's not going to be the day to day running of the business that the shareholders have an influence over. So less influence than say the owners have here. Okay employees slash managers I'll do these together because they're quite similar so they're influenced by the objectives of the business because the business sets their pay their working conditions um, they determine whether they're employed or not you know firstly whether they're recruited but also whether um, you know one part of the organization keeps on running if it's not been doing so well the business could shut it down so they determine whether they actually have a job and an income so it's going to determine their standard of living um, but the employees are the ones that are making the product or the making the service so they're going to determine the productivity levels and therefore the costs of the business and and the service the quality the customer service as well so that can have a really big impact on the business the customers are influenced by the business because um, 
their, the business set the prices. Uh, so it determines whether a customer can afford the product or not. They're going to determine the quality, uh, the products that are available to that customer and the, the, the experience as well, the customer service. But the customers, you know, they're not forced to buy the product. So they'll determine whether um, they are going to buy the product or not. So it's going to determine the sales levels and therefore the revenue and the profit. And also customers can leave reviews on sites. You know, I'm thinking about TripAdvisor, for holidays and those types of things as well so that kind of word of mouth reputation about the business the customers will determine suppliers are influenced by the objectives of the business because they obviously uh, their customer is the business they want to get um, sales from them so they make revenue and they make profit but the supplier can have an impact on the business because they can decide whether they give them 30 days trade credit or 60 days trade credit or no days trade credit so that's going to determine how healthy the cash flow is for the business it's going to determine the cost of the supplies as well and their profit margins and obviously the quality of the product and the raw materials that the, the business buying from the supplier is um, putting into their own products uh, the bank's lenders, um, you know, a bank or a lender is a business themselves. So they're influenced by the, uh, the business or whatever business we're talking about because um, they, um, the business will determine whether there are loans. Um, and that's how people taking out loans is how banks make their money. And also if the business goes under um, and it's got a lot of debt, the bank might not get get their money back or they might not get all of it back so that can affect the the cost of the bank as well and the profit of the bank now the bank will they don't have to lend money to a business so they will determine whether the business can borrow but they also determine the cost for the business of borrowing so that's the interest rate uh, and they'll determine that on how risky the business um, seems to be and the local community are influenced by the business because the, the business might provide local employment opportunities in the area, but they might also be quite damaging for the area in terms of pollution, noise pollution, visual pollution, actual CO2 pollution and other chemicals. Um, so what the community can do is uh, maybe protest if they don't like the business. And the local community are quite likely to be customers as well, depending on what that business is. So they um, might boycott, which means means that they, they don't purchase from that business anymore until the business kind of changes their objectives or changes their ways. So they can have an impact. Um, it depends though how many people there are in the local community and how much media attention they get to how strong they are as a stakeholder. So all of these, if I just go back to um, the diagram, um, don't think, uh, I'll just go back to the first one because it's a quite nice diagram, don't think that all of these stakeholders have equal influence. Some of them will have more influence than others and we've obviously got the government here, they will influence the business with you know, the amount of tax um, that they um, charge on the corporation tax which is tax on profits and, and VAT and those types of things but also um, they will influence uh, whether there are government grants available so could, could possibly reduce the costs of production for the business as well but different stakeholders have different um, amounts of power so here actually they've put shareholders within the internal one so you do see it slightly differently on slightly different diagrams but the other one had it um, as an external stakeholder um, but typically these internal ones and the, the customers will have more influence of the, the running of the business because they're there on a day-to-day -day basis and the customers is the primary way how the you know of how the business is going to make money um, and the other ones will typically have less influence but it depends on the business that you're looking at so these are the um, key objectives uh, so this is the key objective that you need for this section Thank you.